I got a job <laughs> or shall I say a new job and I'm here to tell you all about it. If you're new here, my name is Ilhan and I'm passionate about sharing my journey with you. So that's from cybersecurity and beyond. So my new job is actually on the engineering side rather than my previous job, which was a cybersecurity consultant within the cloud space. So I'm really excited to learn as much as I can and share with you along the way. We all know that the job market is actually in a terrible, horrid place right now, which is completely different than the job market during the pandemic, where people were able to go from companies to company and it was an employee's market i mean they were flourishing and so right now it's like the complete opposite so besides sharing this amazing news i'm sure you're super excited <laughs> i thought i would share some do's and don'ts that i learned the hard way and thought that maybe other people would benefit from it, especially if you're still trying to find your first cybersecurity job or your first tech job or your first cloud related job i got you let's get into it Okay, so firstly, let everyone know what you're looking for and that you're looking for a job. This might sound elementary to some of you, like it had, of course, people should know. No, I was networking. I was going to conferences. I was having coffee chats with people and I still didn't let them know that, A, I am looking. I am really looking. I'm actually like 100% looking, but also I didn't tell them exactly what it is that I was looking for. I kind of just was a little bit passive about it and I wish I did not do that because that just wastes time. So let everyone know, everybody that you meet, anyone that cares to at least hear it. If people don't care, they'll tell you, hey, I don't care that you're looking for a job. Can you stop? But let people know that you're looking for a job and that you're interested and that you're looking. I promise you it's going to do more good than bad. By the way, I have already shared all of these in my newsletter, so make sure to sign up. I feel like it would be a great resource for all of you. And you can find the link to my newsletter in the description. So the first one was let everyone know you're looking for, that's a do, right? The second is volume is everything. Apply often. Look at jobs that you're interested in, companies you're looking at, look at their LinkedIn, their you know websites, but apply, 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 apply. I don't know what it is, but I just wasn't applying to the volume that I could have been applying to. And it is a little bit of like increasing your chances. You always learn something from bad interviews. You, you cannot imagine how many interviews I've had where like they almost laughed at me I mean I, I just you know I wasn't that good or maybe they weren't who I was looking for and they're probably thinking why did she apply but every single one of those interviews helped me get to where I am today and so a lot of that you know resistance from I don't want to apply to this I don't want to apply to that comes from not wanting to fail in the interview process and it's inevitable you might as well fail at things that you're actually interested in and jobs that are open because they might not be open for long. Mm -hmm. Yep. The third point is actually a don't. Don't ever stop interviewing. I think you already understand that from everything that I'm saying, but interviewing is the single greatest skill to have. And I remember someone telling me that when I entered cybersecurity and I totally ignored them because I'm thinking, no, it's the skills that I know. It's the teams that I'll join. It's the technology. No, really like, Look at interviewing as its own skill, as something that will, it will build on top of each other. Like every little thing that you learn about an interview, it's helpful for the next one and the next one and the next one. And I wish being a great interviewer and interviewee was actually taught to us in school because I do think that a lot of people struggle. It's not just because like maybe they're neurodivergent or they come from different backgrounds. It's also something that ev almost everyone, you know, struggles with. And it's, I believe it's normal, but it is a skill that you have to improve upon, unfortunately. But fortunate for you, you now you know. Now you know that you should be interviewing all the time or pretend that you have an interview and then just create that environment. So last but not least, but I really don't want you to lose hope. So that is my last point. It's don't lose hope because I think this whole process of looking for a role that fits you, also a company that you fit right in, also applying to roles that you feel interested in, being rejected, being rejected from jobs right when you, you know, you, you apply to them. Like all of this can get incredibly discouraging and it could be incredibly damaging for your mental health. And so whatever hope it is that you have whatever it comes from it could honestly be you breathing air every day i don't know like you're going outside and you're hiking for like five minutes but whatever it is hold on to it because it will matter i think a lot of people just get so discouraged and they're like you know what we're done so maybe it takes them a year or a year, two years even to come back especially if they're in a different you know industry other than tech right but i really don't want you to be in that position i want you to win and i want you to keep going because 
it is those people that are positive and delusionally positive that end up getting to a place right like i'm one of those people <laughs> no matter what it is i just think oh my god it's gonna work for me of course like throughout this there was moments where i honestly had to look for hope i had to like just find anything that made me feel a little bit better and so that's why i want to relay this because it doesn't even matter how positive you are if the the whole process just gets to you then you want to quit and sometimes it's smart to quit maybe for five minutes or like a week but I want you to still like get right back into it and feel like you can do it because you can, it's true. You can do it. And if you're trying to find your first cybersecurity job and you want to know how I did it or what process I used, please watch my other video because that might be the little hope that you needed. Maybe you know, like watching that video, you're like, oh my God, I feel so much better. So please give that a try. That's actually it for the video today. Please let me know what other videos you would like to make. I will go into depth, anything career related, cybersecurity, tech, or resume job searching anything about that so i will help you all out as i learn you will learn trust me you will benefit okay so make sure to let me know what type of videos you would like me to make and of course subscribe comment like do everything <laughs> okay bye